है एवरी वन इट्स इट वी गोइंग टू द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ रैंडम थाट्स एंड दिस वीडियो वी आर सिंपली गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम एडिशन एंड सब्रक्शन द मेन पर्पज यू नो आई नो दैट्स आर सो सिंपल अराउंड अराउंड टेन ईयर चोल्ड कैन ऑल्सो सॉल्व दैट बट मेन फोकस ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज दैट यू हैव टू स्पीक इट आउट बट आई ऑलरेडी सेट दैट इफ यू नो सब्जेक्ट नॉलेज देन यू कैन स्पीक इट आउट इजली एंड and i know about the how addition or solve how subtraction has been has done in order to that means i know about the subject knowledge if i know subject knowledge then i can speak it. it's not going to be an a perfect perfect or a fluent is speak english it's going to be it will take time to that for sure what what i'm saying what i'm saying i'm saying that i'm going to speak in Eng- simple english and take time slowly take time slowly means build up pace with time and continue with the process so I'm going to explain this first one are easy one chat gpt your remind me that this question are easy one and i am going to react according to that one that's first in order to solve simplification i am assuming that you are a student of fifth class <laughs> in order to solve no i am kidding Now resolve these questions. First, you num- first you should know the number system. Number system means you should know uh, number table like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, up to hundred. Uh, up to hundred, then now question will repeat itself. Number going to repeat itself. Like one plus. If you know addition, then you need simply need to add one plus and number going to keep going on until infinity. So here is given as first one is given as five plus three. What's the answer? Five plus three. Five plus three is equal to eight. Yeah, I don't know what that. Nine plus five minus four is equal to five. Two plus seven is six. Eight. So easy one or so simple. Uh, have to move in the next forward. Like now are the tenth digit number. You have to solve the tenth digit number. So what will become? Once value digit from both of them. That first one is three, second one is seven. Have to add those, those of the, those of twos. Like seven plus three will become ten. Then hustle, hustle over there. Uh, one then two one plus three plus one equal to fourteen. The answer will be fourteen. Have to minus forty five minus twenty nine. What will be answer? As we know, if number is upper number is. L- Lower than lower number, then we can get what we can get. We can get a reminder or an value from tenth value. Then five will become fifteen. Fifteen minus nine will become what? Six. And it will be three. Three minus two equal to one. One plus six. The answer will be sixteen. Addition. Sixty-three plus twenty-one. Have to add these two number. Nine plus three will become twelve. Six plus two equal to eight. Equal to nine. This is all simple. Now the part is that we have to take some time. Can we take some time? Because there are three-digit number, four-digit number. Have to solve one number at a time. Then going to solve it easily. Likewise, we have already covered around three point four four minute at least. Four minute video. Four minute in this video. Like challenging part is first have to solve add two number six seven eight plus four plus three two that was two these are so simple yeah I all know means let do some other things mm, what can we do what can we do what can we do in order to in order to that we know we have should know. Uh, yeah. We should know uh, what can we do in order to like uh, know about the subject knowledge and uh, even can so right. hmm. give me some algebra question. Algebra. Algebra question. Around. 
Now that's all going to be around 10 questions. Uh, they are similar to uh, intermediate. It's all it's why itself it divide question into different form of difficulty levels. First one is easy, second one is intermediate, and third one is challenging. We have to solve these one. Let's check it easy first one. First one is get x is equal to. We have to find the value of x is equal to x plus 5 and we, as we already know we have followed almost almost what 19 no 20 question yesterday so as we know there is a rule in algebra in order to solve this type of question you have to compare left hand side value with r hand side and if the value on left hand side is positive then it will become negative on the right hand side if it is negative divide it will become multiplication if in multiplication it will divide that all we can say it will be 3x plus 3 3x plus y equal to 14 and 14 minus 5 will become what what will become 14 minus 5 what will become 9 is equal to 3x is equal to 9 and 3x is in multiplication form we can divide it in 3 if we divide 9 by 3 is equal to 3 now the second portion we have to find y value in this one as it in 8 in, uh, we have we have to separate the Munger value on one side and constant value with expression on the other side if we take minus 8 to the right hand side it will become 18 to y equal to 18 when y will come what 9 that's so simple um, all are the simple question now we the intermediate part going to solve intermediate part okay solve the 2 bracket x plus 4 equal to 18 3 bracket minus 21 5 2 a plus 3 equal to 35 4 3 b minus 8 equal to 44 2 c plus 1 minus 3 7 equal to 3 7 can you pick it pick it one now let's check now check now let's check a number now left 47 on which number 47 is going to come as we know there are five number whichever 47 will come we are going to solve the question first one it's, it's like a game years 5 10 15 14 15 20 25 30 31 32 33 34 35 47 yes second number it's, we are going to solve the second number first yes it is in bracket form we are good it is in second form need to destroy the bracket and it will become 3y and then will become 6 we will take minus 6 to the right hand side it will become it's 27 and to divide 3y by 27 y will become 7 7 3 9 yeah, 27 9 now going to solve first one 2x plus 8 plus equal to 80 divided by minus 18 y get minus y 10 yeah, now it it will come 10 x value is equal to 5 so all 5 pay 5 into 2 a plus 3 8. what will be the answer 5 10 a equal to 15 you come 15 equal to 5 5 will be the answer now most of the less challenging part in order to solve challenging questions we have we should know about the what we should have a uh, copy and paper i don't have a digital copy and paper then i just remind the, this question in my mind and do whatever it takes. I am feeling little sleepy as I am recording this video from 4 a.m. morning. I got up easily, got up around 4 a.m. and got sleep to went around 12 p.m. in the morning. Just got to sleep around 4 hours a day in order to solve, in order to do what I have decided to choose or I what I have decided to turn in the coming four or to five years this will be the part of my journey yeah now so now let's now let's do some random random question uh right and for and how and she care arithmetic whatever is the value of it's a hmm, no 
now and several so with the way automatic what, what will the value of it's seven fifty six it's so simple I'm not fast first right what will the if twenty five separated from sixty what will the result sixty three fifty three Forty three and then go into the thirty eight it will go simple thirty eight will be the first answer uh, if so A will be correct if shirt cost it twenty five and pair of jeans is costed what will the cost they cost together? Go into rules add simply add those these two number. Solve for x equal to I have already done this which of the following equation represent a linear relationship if x if 3x minus 7 equal to 11, what will be the value of x? I have already done this. We are going to first take numerical part on the side and take a rest and keep rest part on the left hand side. Then it will become 18. If you divide 18 by 3, it will become what? 3 will be 18. 3, 3 will be the answer. If they not 6, 6 will be the answer. What is the sum of the interior angle of triangle? What is the sum of the interior of the angle? 60, 60, 380, 180. A square has a side of length 8. What is the parameter? It will come as we know what's the parameter. We should know first know the parameter, parameter, sum of the length of the sum of the given of length. As it is given a square, it is a full length. Or we can do or we can do rectangle. Rectangle is a length and breadth. It's a square. Square what is the square formula? I don't know. Six L square. I thought six L square. No square into square the area. Excuse me. My hair follow. Hair follow is only occurring with time. What's the area of rectangle with length ten and breadth? Rectangle length into breadth is about ten fifteen. A square meter. I just have to remember the formula. I think the 50 is the correct answer. Now let give. Now let give. Get, get, give the answer. This question. Twenty-five algebra. I have to check book part or off geometry. Right here, yeah, thirty-two. 50 yeah length into breadth will be long is a fraction ratio only i have not given any type of fraction ratio fraction ratio are part yeah. let's check which of the following is equal to 3 by 5 0.75 see will be the answer what is the result of dividing to 56 what will if divide by if we divide 56 by 2 what will be the answer 2 2 16 8 28 2.8 what will be the answer it's so simple if a pizza divided by 8 equal pizza i say you had triple I see. What are the fraction of the five by eight? Hey brother, what are the left is? Did you have in eight and three by eight oh, hold on. Uh. Let's check how many time how many minutes has been done in this video. Already around three thirty minutes thirty second. Okay, we are going with the good pace. It's I think it's the fifth video of the day. My target is around 10 video a day. Half of the video has been done of this show. And I usually record videos during the daytime and upload all 10 videos together in the morning. Because there is there is limit set. Limit set done by the YouTube. You can only upload up to 12 videos a day with a certain limit on Gigabyte also. So, 10 videos are not. Do you want to solve more questions? Or what? 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 Do you want to solve more questions? Or will happy with this question only? Mm -hmm. A square has a side. I think that's it. that's enough for the day. This this question is enough for the day. Going to cover more question in the second part of this video. Some random question. Some random thought part four. Okay, okay, okay. Let us finish. We have finished around fifteen minutes in this video. That's it for the video. We'll meet in the next one.
Till then, see you again.